In this video, I'm going to show you how to bomb cover four drop over the top every time for a one play touchdown. This is a defense that you guys are probably to some level of a degree facing, especially if you want to get over the top of a cover four. Um, there's not a whole lot of plays in this game that really bomb uh, this coverage. And so this video, I think, is going to help you guys out if you're looking for a cover four. Now, this also does bomb match coverage, uh, but we actually explained how to use this similar play against match coverage in a previous video. We're going to be focusing today specifically on cover four drop zone uh, out of the dollar. You could also see some of this out of nickel 3-3. Three, three. And again, I think this is the best play to bomb coverages in the game. It is out of gun bunch, clear out FLN as the play. We are in the Washington offensive playbook. Guys, I just released a brand new ebook covering the entire Washington playbook where we go over bunch, bunch open tight end, gun tight. We got some really good, we're working on um, adding a layer in with the five wide stuff that you can do out of this uh, formation as well as it has uh, a really powerful five wide as well. Um, so if you want to get access to that ebook, make sure you join our Patreon. Uh, the link to sign up for that is in the description. It's only $10 to sign up. It'll get you access to all of my Madden 23 offensive and defensive ebooks. We've got 12 ebooks in the Patreon as of today, and we're going to be bringing out another one um, at the end of this week. So a lot of really good content coming your guys' way. But anyways, let's go ahead and get into this. This is Gun Bunch Clear Out FLN. Um, and again, the only uh, if you notice here, we are on um, our bunch receivers. We're on the left hash. So uh, the hash mark is these little dash lines in the middle. And basically what I wanted to show you was when you run this play to the wide side of the field, it is really good for bombing cover four. Uh, and the main reason why is because the quarters have basic have uh, grids and the inside quarters grid is essentially the hash mark the outside quarters grid is essentially the numbers and the power of this um, the power of this little glitchy fade route is it starts inside and works outside and the power of freeform passing this year makes this absolutely incredible so the only adjustment we need to make is we're going to put uh, Julio Jones on a corner route. You can do whatever you want with these back two guys. They're not really important to the play. The main thing here is this fade and the corner route specifically for cover four drop. Okay. So uh, what you'll see is at the snap of the ball, uh, he is going, as soon as that inside quarter turns his hips inside, we're going to throw a free form pass to the outside. And as you can see, we're going to be able to cook cover four drop over the top. So again, I'll put this guy on a corner route, and what you'll see here is he turns inside, I free form outside, and it's this little tender spot that you can hit over the top of a cover four drop. Now, let's say that you are watching this and you're like, well, what if I don't have outside apprentice? You can uh, try to do this by putting him on a drag. You'll see here this outside quarter, he still won't play it. And it's because of the grid system that EA kind of said in the beginning that they weren't really putting into the game. Um, they're supposed to have field logic or whatever it is. Um, and you're seeing here that it's still kind of to a degree, maybe even worse this year, a grid system against zone. Like zone is not the move. Um, if you play zone against bunch, you're going to be in trouble. Now we have some of the best man beating formations in this playbook. Like gun tight is really good against man. It's got this slot post play. Um, it's got, uh, it's also have this formation right here. That's really good against match coverage. And then you have, um, again, the benefit of having, you know, these routes. So, you know, I could do something like this on the back side. And this play will bomb man coverage to a degree. Like, it does have some really, really good routes against man coverage. But you see how powerful this is against zone. Like, as long as you can pick up the blitz for just a second, um, you know, which basically we're going to block our running back. We got a chance uh, to be able to pick up, you know, the blitz. You should bomb zone every single time. They're, they're, they're not going to be able to run zone on your field. I mean, every zone pretty much can be bombed with this play. And that's the power of it, okay? So I wanted to show you how to bomb cover four drop in this video. Uh, we'll talk about cover three in a future video. I wanted to kind of give a specific breakdown for each coverage. Um, but this play breaks down coverages so well. It, it really does. And, um, you know, it's just one of the best bomb plays that we've ever seen in Madden. As you see here, I mean, this is 
routine able to to bomb this coverage um so anyways with that being with that in mind that's how you bomb cover four drop if you want to get my full washington offensive ebook we go into detail about this play i think we spent about 30 minutes breaking this play down against pretty much every adjustment that you're going to see uh so i would really encourage you um if you want a little bit deeper dive into this offense it's not just this play we cover i think we have over 40 play breakdowns um and we have several write-ups and stuff like that for you guys in the ebook so if you want to check out the ebook the link is in the description thanks for watching 10 bucks gets you access to everything in the patreon uh, so if you want to check it out head over to the patreon.com slash cody ballard or you can just click the link in the description thanks for watching and hope to see you guys over at the patreon page